It's gonna be the blue Darren player, Bion. It's up 2-0 here in the best of five finals. In the top right, has the red Zerg, the TCM Sulky. Got people in chat literally like quoting here, fuck this guy, can he even lose? God, how fucking god must you be to win with Terran? Like, that control, everyone is just <laughs> mindful by watching Beyond play. It's crazy too because I, I, I almost wish I had the ability to fast forward a few months in the future and see what top Terran players like Innovation and others will be doing. Because I gotta be honest guys, I don't know if it's just that Zerg players aren't playing at their, their absolute peak level of capacity right now. Or that Beyond just actually hit the, the limits so quick. But this guy is seriously just... He is actually the best. I'm just gonna say it. I try to be political and say like, no, he's just one of the best. No, Beyond's the best. I'm just saying it. I think he is the best right now. But you, you know, bring up all the guys that aren't really showcasing their skills quite yet. They're just, you know, in the little... I don't know. They're in like well, their hovels practicing for well, 15 hours a day and they're gonna appear soon. There's actually a lot of, and I'm not going to say names because this is kind of like inside information, but there's a lot of Kespa players who haven't even touched Legacy yet. Uh, they've been on vacation or they've been waiting or they're waiting for the map. I don't know what the reason is, but, you know, talking with some of my Korean friends, talking about like, so where's so-and-so at? We, uh, I constantly hear responses like, oh, they're on vacation. They're waiting yeah. or they're coming back from vacation tomorrow. Like a lot of these guys would never sign up. Like we're not going to see Innovation sign up, I think, for an Alima League anytime soon, but... Regardless, it wouldn't matter because I don't think we'd see him play. <laughs> They're all saving for whenever Broly comes back. So that's that's the first thing coming back, I believe, in Korea. GSL's next year, Pro League. Pro League did used to start in December. I don't know when it changed, though. Mm. Remember because well, you know, like, there'd be like Christmas Pro League. Yay. Another really problematic thing, though, is Blizzard still hasn't released any information for next year. And it's not like they're not going to. I don't think anyone's worried about StarCraft like suddenly being dropped or anything, but... It does kind of suck that whether well, it's Korea, <laughs> yeah, Rifkin, why would you say that? No, but I mean, like, whether it's Korea, North America, Europe, like, nobody really knows what's going on for next year yet. So I can kind of understand that that lack of motivation to jump in and start grinding a million games out. Oh, did you see the post for GSL? No. So, what? Yeah, so it it appeared last night and then it got deleted because apparently the guy really wasn't supposed to like tell their plans yet because it wasn't a hundred percent done. Oh, oh. Guys. Yeah, they were, it was just a post detailing like the uh, the qualifiers. They, they were going to have a tournament to seed into Code S or something like that. And they were asking for English casters. Oh? Yeah, um, but then it got deleted. And apparently like the guy was told, like, hey, <laughs> don't put up it. So, I mean, I'd be down, like, if that ends up being an offer that they do, so later on down the line, A, I would hope they'd, they'd consider us because, hey, our channel's so big. But secondly, I actually wonder if it would be more fun casting that than something like an Alima League. Like, I know that kind of sounds kind of crazy, uh, right? But we've, we've come such a different direction with Base Trade TV over the over the year. I'm going to say no, simply because there's going to be a lot more... Downtime. <laughs> yes, downtime and potentially even red tape. Um, they really do cater towards the players and the GSO qualifiers. I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of them got the ability to say no to being cast. Ah, uh, that's it true kind of comes well. a I forgot about book. that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's so... what's frustrating. You cast like the AM qualifiers, you can't cast half the players because... Uh, what am I almost get to shut up? That's cool. We'll have to keep an eye out for that. Didn't know about that. Of course, he's yep. asleep. But layer timing revealed to be on. He's also gonna go for a liberator behind this. Now the liberator could do a couple of different things. It could go deny a mineral line to be annoying. It could support a push. It could cut off a ramp. But everything kind of hinges on these marines getting some damage done. Now the little mine, of course, didn't get much earlier. Does get a nice burrow off here. Spore caller's not done. If this gets focused, there won't actually be detection for the little mine. It's not going to go off on much again, though. Oh. So that Liberator is going to have a very limited amount of time to do damage, but it is going to have time to. I believe it's already sieged up in the main. I'm trying to. Yeah, this floor crawler is going to get repositioned here. So no. one of the things about Beyond, just going back to talk about him, because, we, again, we see stream chat blowing up about Beyond right now, asking for replays and all this. Beyond's greatest strengths really come from his like incredibly good control. It's not like you, you don't just caught, like open up a Beyond replay and be like, okay, here's the build order. I'm good to go. Like his decision making isn't the craziest thing I've ever seen. It's not bad. It's not amazing. But his control in every situation is like the best. 
Yeah, it'd be really interesting finding out how he lost to Nerchio yesterday. I don't know if you heard about that. No, was that in the Bacon Infinity Cup? Yes. So I have two, I can already tell you two reasons why that probably happened. A, latency, another server. B, Beyond had just played our tournament. That's what I was going to say, is that he would have been super tired at that time. I mean, he had to pause the finals for his wrists. God knows they must have been burning it on fire by the time he got to where he yeah. was fighting Nurture in the Bacon Infinity Tournament. But it's sort of interesting to see if maybe he lost to Cheeses, or if it was just like his control is obviously much worse than it was in, in you know, our tournament that day. Mm. Anywho. Well, nice to know that a god king can bleed. <laughs> yeah, sure. Oh my god, Beyond Xerxes. Oh, what the hell? Okay, didn't didn't Sulky no, was it Sulky? Who tried this last time? Like Ling Hydra and we were just like scratching our heads like this isn't gonna work. <laughs> and it didn't, by the way. Was that Sulky? It was on I remember it was on Dust Towers. Wasn't that versus Protoss? We're talking about though? No, it was just Terran. Oh, then I'm I'm actually I thought so. It might have been TLO too. Whatever. So maybe I don't have the precedent here in mind. And you can't go look it up on the VOD, I'm sorry. But the point is looking at it here and now, Ling Hydra just just doesn't seem to really work against Terran. There's there's a reason you either go Roach Hydra or Ling Muta, like not really or Ling Roach, but not Ling Hydra. They're both just very weak units that can't really protect each other. Well, I mean anything you do on ground without lings, so lings are important, uh, to stopping drops, because if you're not gonna have mutas in the sky, you're not gonna be able to respond to anything. Yeah. I got a new sub, Dog Dozer. Thank you. Dog Dozer much. hype! And of course, we've arson for the 14 months. We missed that earlier, too. My bad. Our bad. Mm. Warson? Vive arson? I don't know. Thank you so much, nonetheless. Uh, Liberators are, you know, this thing's got its kills. It's up to 13 kills. It's killed yeah. like two queens, a handful of hydras. It's gonna finally die to the spore crawler, but not before killing about four drones. Really, that thing paid for itself, and that doesn't happen too often. In fact, Liberator early on, like that, gets shut down fairly easily. I feel so, kind of, kind of crazy, kind of crazy that that Beyond was able to get so many kills off that. Mm -hmm. I I just don't see why Ling, Bane Ling Hydra would be. Good, and I'm really trying to like think of like what the, what they would complement each other. This might just be. I was gonna say like sometimes we see roaches made aggressively in the mid game, right. where you still go for lings, you still go for melee because you're looking towards ultras. So oh. maybe trying a variation of that because I mean the infestation pit finishes soon. We'll probably see the hive start up immediately. So the roaches provide a lot of like you know tankiness that can buy a lot of time. Mm. But the Hydras would provide some of anti-air. You know, yeah, and, and back to Hots, Golden would do a lot of these sort of builds where you'd leave three Hydras and five Lings in the main, mm -hmm. and they would stop drops dead in the tracks. So I, I'm i not saying it's the best choice, but we've seen it work in an older expansion of the game. I miss Golden, I think man. One of the main problems about this game, though, is not necessarily just the composition, but also it's it's Bion, and he's had the chance to go to three bases. Oh, so it's Wendell Mines! Oh, that one barely to get the main lanes. I thought those other two shots were gonna go off for sure, but yeah, has to back away. Drop of the main also picked up, going to run away. This is where the Hydra start working out really well. If they can get some shots, they'll do a lot of damage, but you can't have them in all these different places pre-spread like this. And if you pre-spread them to defend drops, then Beyond just consolidates and pushes. It's really tough exactly. keeping up with this. Nice wood of my shot goes off, takes out most of the lings on the ground. They're the fodder for these Hydras. High tech finishes up shortly, and if, again, Sulky can get to this point, it looks better, but he's bled out so much getting here. He's done better defending against these drops than some other Zergs we've seen with Ling Roach trying to get to all that fast uh, Hive, but you're right. If if Beyond ever recognized this or his drops really were doing absolutely no damage, which you're still doing some, then he would just consolidate in the middle and push, and uh, I, I don't think that Sulky would be able to defend it. You know, a couple of, you know, decent Wood of Mine hits, some decent yeah. splitting against the Banelings, and, and Lings and Hydras get on real quick. This is the timing for Beyond. He always hits right here. Like, he goes crazy with drops, he starts getting really aggressive with these pushes, and it's as the Zerg players are getting to Ultralisk. So, unfortunately, Sulky just doesn't have any supply to work with. Wood of Mines guard the backs. Oh! Oh! Oh no. my god! Oh. That friendly fire! What the hell? Oh no. I mean, he's probably still gonna win the game, but holy oh, shit! That was like 12 <laughs> marines, 13 marines that died just there. Oh my gosh. Uh, thank you by the way, all hail 42 very much for that sub, but damn, Zombie Grub, that was nasty. 
Main space compromise. No ultralist coming out. 37 drones and barely any income. Beyond has. I can't believe it. Like, okay, you tell me Beyond 3 is true, I believe it. You tell me Beyond 3 is sulky, I'm less likely to believe you. He's this... gotten so fucking good, I just can't. Do you remember when he would lose? Do you remember when he would lose 2 every get time and then come back 3 2? Now he's just like, no, I'm done with. I don't have time to waste. I have to play seven <laughs> tournaments today, so I'm just gonna 3 0 and get it out of the way. <laughs> oh, it's just. I, I think we're so spoiled to have this guy. Yeah, I know, but I get scared because Polt left us too, man. Like, we used to have Polt for Zotek, then he left us for WCS. The one who's beyond. Well, if he never appears in any offline tournaments, we have nothing to worry about. Yeah, then we'll be fine. Okay, well, this is a good attempt to fight out a Sulky. That Ling Hydra was questionable. I don't think it was the worst choice in the world to go for, but unfortunately, it was coming up against the monolith titan that is beyond. Good game gets called. This guy. I'm telling you, Beyond is a Shaolin monk. And you watch all these movies, like, with Jackie Chan and shit, and they use their powers to fight crime and do good. No. Beyond's just like, fuck that. I trained in a monastery for, like, two years. That's where I went. It wasn't Kesper Jail, and now I'm even better at StarCraft. That's the only solution I have. <laughs> oh, but seriously, that was a good game. That was a great series. Beyond looking unstoppable. And all jokes aside about actually finishing things off quickly, we have to cast later today Wisecracks' uh, open qualifier. Two thousand dollar tournament. Beyond is signed up in his brackets, so he's hopefully gonna get some sleep between now and then. But Jesus, this guy is good. Zombie Grub, I see just that smile on your face. You are definitely admiring this terror. <laughs> I uh, I haven't been this impressed in a while. Yes, yeah, he's good. He's good. There's no doubting that. All right, <clears> folks. <throat> I want to talk about a lot about Corsair and all these other cool things. We're gonna go to break before we do last. I swear to God, last commercial break of the stream. Because when we return, we'll talk some more. We'll show off some stuff, and we'll see you guys in a few minutes.